Hello, this is Dr. Rambuddy. In the first two parts of the videos, we looked at solving a problem, a word puzzle, and, and we finished it. We, we solved it. Uh, it's a very important part of problem solving is to now go back and see, look at your solution. Can we make the output more interesting? Can we make the program more readable? And that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. Well, whenever we solve a problem, it's always a good idea to go back and see if we can improve on it. Let's take a look. Well, it might be nice to actually print out the values. So, for example, table to see that, yes, it's 20 and it adds up to the, uh, the, the particular letters add up to that. So rather than printing the word, let's do... Uh, let, let's actually print out the numbers with a plus in between. Now it turns out that uh, there's a slick way to do that and let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is collect the digits and I will use list comprehension. So let's make a list uh, and we're going to find the uh, um, turn each one into a string because I'm going to be printing strings here for every uh, value that I find in my sum list. So we're going to go through the list which is a list of, of ints and I'm going to change each one into a digit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print first the word and then I will print uh, a colon in there just to make it look nice. Then the total, so that's the value of the first word, such as 20 in table. Uh, then an equal sign. And then I want to print all the digits in my list of values with a plus in between. And so we'll put a plus in between and then we'll join them all together. and try that out. Now when these print out, you, it's a little easier to see that in fact uh, the values that we come up with satisfy the criteria that we have. For example, if you take a look at table, all right, we see that it's the 20, the 1, the 2, the 12, and the 5. Similarly for cab, three is one plus two, uh, and, you know, pig is, you know, you may not remember that P is the 16th letter in the, uh, in the alphabet, and so on. So that gives us a slightly better uh, output, and we get to see another use of, uh, uh, of lists, and we got to take advantage of uh, list comprehension. Now, an astute uh, person will notice that uh, we actually didn't need to use word list. Uh, we could fix this. We could fix our program up uh, so that we don't even that we just we're only going through the list once. So while we're reading them in the file, uh, let's uh, uh, let's process them right there. Uh, and in this case, let's turn the uh, sense of this around so if the word is less than three or word zero is not in letters then what we will do instead of appending it on to the word in this case we will skip it and continue uh, we can then get rid of those two lines and now, now what we've done is if the word is small or the, uh, the first letter is, uh, first character is not in our list of letters, then we will, uh, we will deal with it. We will work with it. And we see that now uh, we, get the, uh, we get the same results. So whenever you write a piece of code, it's usually a good idea to go back and 
uh, uh, check to see if you can write uh, you know if you can write it in a better way you know is this more readable